Hello and welcome on Stocks Advisor again. In this episode, we will talk about BlackBerry Limited traded at New York Stock Exchange, ticker name BB. Well, BlackBerry is showing a nice upwards move already like third week here and it's kind of zigzag movement. So we started from the beginning of November after reaching a very solid uh, bottom line at the level of uh, about uh, 445 here. And then what happened actually we started to return in the price and this was happening with zigzagging so the price went up all the way until uh, 550 that worked as there as some kind of temporarily resist line but it didn't stop the price action to go further up uh, let's call this one r1 so it didn't stop the price action to go further up after making a small zigzagging here somewhere in uh, 10 ish of november uh, the further very strong price started to grow and yesterday showing the uh, the, the hammer with, with lower uh, actually shadow we see this worked as accelerated here and now we finish today with a white candle but with very big upward shadow meaning that yeah the the price was not able to to hold at 560 but declined to 544 uh, all the way down but still it's positive still um, there is a lot of expectations for for this one we made today only a uh, 2.84 but uh, it could be rising there further and there are two things uh, about this it's technical part and also news based and the market drivers so let's first talk about the market drivers uh, for blackberry uh, first of all blackberry related today it was announced that uh, actually they had a collaboration with the company uh, plus the provider for uh, truck technology and uh, actually self-driving uh, track technology provider and the collaboration was that the company plus is going to use a uh, qnx technology of blackberry for uh, self-driving trucks and now they're actually working on that uh, it's kind of operational um, system so operational software and uh, this together with the fact that nowadays a, a lot of this electrical stuff self-driving cars uh, stories are boosting uh, remembering to the action of tesla also nicola every stock is growing uh, together with this the news for blackberry actually caused the price to grow up and now uh, since it's all boosting uh, kind of very yeah boosting areas also expectation wise uh, the price is going up but also together with the fact that uh, technically blackberry is returning very well and now this was the news part so it's market related to uh, blackberry itself also overall the market is growing and it's very positive very well accepted by traders uh, and now about technicality so technically speaking it might seem like end of the wave because we saw uh, these declines previously for example in june here we saw this major decline in volatilities then we saw similar being also overbought rsi wise we saw being bought rsi overbought rsi wise in beginning of september and then the price going all the way down but here there are still differences it's not very similar to what happened before so first of all rsi wise we are still growing so also making this zigzagging shape and there is still grow still some potential to go overboard uh, secondly although the candle is more bearish as itself but uh, there are other parameters that say that probably this is not the end of the game yet uh, first of all M macd wise we are after having very symmetrical negative wave we are going up but now you can see a slight acceleration so it's not bottom, uh, topping actually it's not the top it's still trying to make a little bit higher move which will be short of course it will not take long time maybe one two candles but still it means that we might go higher at least we should uh, try the level of the previous uh, top which is uh, actually about here which is five about 565 so we still might try to to reach it and we even might go uh, to the to the next level so we might even go to the to the next level which would be 580 and the reason for that is uh, actually so let's call them r2 and r3 and the reason for this possibility is that moving averages are showing so-called opening wrapper it's when uh, moving average 
uh, moving average are running from each other and moving average 20 and 50 are running upwards and then this would definitely later cause the moving average 200 also to return so now we see moving average 20 is going really fast up so it's going up but also with acceleration since its second der derivative is uh, positive the same goes for moving average 50. this is usually unique combination when both of them are simultaneously and almost like um, mirror wise going upwards so this will definitely cause later moving average 200 to return to go higher once the volume picks up here it's still uh, not that high and uh, this is interesting because this would mean we, we might have kind of a beast or boost mode, uh, very spiky, not given that it will hold too long, but it might be very strong. Still, tomorrow, two possibilities. We might immediately start from somewhere lower uh, of the shadow level and go higher, trying to pierce R1, R3, or stuck between them, and then do major correction. Or we might already make kind of a smaller correction with a candle uh, being kind of a piercer type so with uh, let's say a, a very long downward shadow and smaller body so something like this could be happening tomorrow it could be any color red white dark doesn't matter but in both cases uh, there is one interesting level where the, the buy can be taken and this is volatility level here let's uh, draw it with a line it's the volatility level here about 530 which is a little bit above the R1 line it's a line v1 and there we might touch so if we go there that would be very first nice interesting buying opportunity entry opportunity for for this play uh, actually you can already make the, the play if you like here and the current price but from the action we see it still might be that we will go there so the first would be v1 if we go there and then uh, just sell all the way if we reach r2 don't take too much time uh, just take the profit would be nice profit here more than actually 10 percent this is more than enough for me to make a nice place so this is the exit area then um, r2 r1 should there be a stronger correction like, like it took place before it might be as well uh, though not given with this action of moving averages 20 and 50 but in case is, this is happening uh, another nice uh, entry uh, level here and average down level will be actually at the support lines uh, at the level of 510 so you can make enter, entry here at these levels or just below it and uh, then again as always we discuss in our uh, analysis for full and secure play should the price really then decline this would be the final support line uh, at these volatility levels actually and support levels it's about uh, 482 and there you can buy further so there and between moving average 200 would be the final let's say defense but again it's not given we go there at all we might already spike up so what would be advice here you buy with one portion here you average down with one portion and then in case you average down with two portions so in this time it's one one two play and uh, might be actually very interesting here uh, blackberry uh, could be very spiky it can, can make another zigzagging if not if it goes all the way down and then make zigzagging here from the second circle then exit is v1 line and if we go from the third circle then exit would be actually between r1 and this line let's call it s1 so it's here this would be the, the exit if we start from the third circle in any case it will provide you from 10 to 15 20 percent profit don't take too much time don't uh, be let's say too greedy because still this is very volatile and the channel trade r1 uh, s3 is still very big very broad and yeah it's better to play waves play safe and make a profit by nice technicality trade rather than trying to become rich from one trade which is the philosophy we don't uh, advise at our channel here so with this having said this is all for bb as you can see uh, we give advice a little bit in advance so you can watch our previous videos as well to see the situations described there maybe the situation is just about to happen so you can place your alerts on the price and take the trade if you like the analysis also do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so already also press the ring mm, uh, button this way you will note our new videos and new interesting discussions for us by stocks thank you and see you at another episode at stocks advisor channel